this and more on today's episode of Gospel Gems. There's nothing that can separate me from the love of God. How great thou art. Hey, I'm Bishop Leonard Scott, and this is Gospel Gems. That is what Whitney J is all about. That is my assignment, is to help people feel seen. We can look, you know, polished, and that's great, mm -hmm. but it's important for us to be honest and transparent because that's where other people's freedom comes from. Because many of us believers think that we have to have it all together and we have to look good all the time and we have to be so poised and proper and we're really struggling privately. I didn't meet God personally until I was 20. I had had a son, my older son, out of wedlock, was trying to figure out life. I was depressed, undiagnosed, and also had postpartum depression, undiagnosed, and I just had enough. Wow. And on March 20th of 2007, I attempted to take my life, and I had to um, be held for a 72-hour psych eval at a hospital. Mm -hmm. And what was interesting about that experience and how I met God there, of all places, is you know you had a room that you, you slept in, and then there were these group sessions, and you had to attend the group sessions mm -hmm. to be able to start your path to going home, whatever that looked like for you. And initially, I didn't want to go to these sessions because I was looking at these people, and I was afraid. They looked crazy to me. There were drug addicts, there were people with severe mental illness. And I remember like being there, like, I'm, why am I in here? Mm -hmm. And God said to me, these are people. And when I went into the room, you know, some of them were heavily medicated. They were doing some things that looked off or odd. But when they started speaking, they were people mm -hmm. just like me. Yeah. And sometimes we can be in the same room and we are judging other people. And God's like, but you're in here too. So you are no better. But how I met God there is he just in that actual group session, I heard him say, your life matters to me. I know you've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. And this is before things even, <laughs> there was a lot more to come. Yeah. But in that moment, that's where I met God. Wow. And so for me, you know, I wish I could say I had that super pretty salvation story of I went to the altar one Sunday and no, I was in the middle of a mental health hospital, a facility that was locked down. I could not leave on my own. And mm -hmm. God met me in those rooms. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget him for that. If he could get me there, if he could come and see Whitney mm -hmm. there and the, I mean, the most broken. And he thought that my life had value he prevented me from completing what I wanted to do, which was to end my life. Wow. I took pills wow. and I drove on a highway and I never wrecked my car. Yeah. Miracles still happen. Yeah, he sent you an angel. He sent me an <laughs> angel. And I know I give them lots of work. <laughs> I know they're working double time with me, but he met me in the ugliest of places. Mm -hmm. And he made my life beautiful. I can never be convinced that he's not real. Wow. Listen, uh, all that you've been through, I can see the joy of the Lord, you know, and, and uh, you know, they say that, you know, that you're happy because stuff happens to you, but, but when you have joy, it doesn't matter what happens. Amen. You know, it, the joy it's is there. just there. And, and I see the joy of the Lord. Um, you. And you, how, how could you share with with those that are watching, you know, about uh, your joy and, and how to have joy? Man, my joy does come from God. <laughs> it does. My joy comes from knowing and understanding that regardless of what I do or what has happened to me or what I have done, that there's nothing that can separate me from the love of God. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the program. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be notified of upcoming events. Your support drives exposure for upcoming gospel artists. So thanks and let's get back to the show. Just knowing that he truly loves me. Mm -hmm. I am a hot mess by myself. 
<laughs> what you're seeing is the grace of God. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> right? not- but the fact that he truly loves me and that he loves me just as I am. Mm-hmm. I don't have to come to God perfected. I don't have to get myself together and then go to him. I can cry out to him. I can come to him completely unraveled and he will meet me right there. Mm-hmm. There is a beauty in just knowing that I can truly be my full self. When you think of friendships and relationships, there's layers to being comfortable, right? So when you're first, you know, when I first met my late husband, I always looked good, right? <laughs> I was I was always, you know, I never did anything or said anything that was, you know, um, that kind of put any layers to me. I wanted to make a good impression. Certainly. But yeah. you know, after you get married, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna see me at 3 a.m. when I don't look not as pretty, right? And you're right. going to see me when I'm not in a good mood. And and how does the relationship change? But with God, it doesn't matter what I look like. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. He loves me. Yeah. And he still blesses me, even when I mess up <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah. And sometimes by choice. Right. Not everything is the enemy manipulating you or sometimes I have known something was wrong and still say, well, (laughs) I'm just going to go do it anyway. (laughs) Right. And he still loves me. And that's where my joy comes from. It comes from him. If it came from anything else, it would be subject to be lost. Mm -hmm. So you came up in the Methodist church. That Mm -hmm. means you sang a lot of hymns. Oh, yes. But was it one of your favorite hymns? (laughs) Oh, my gosh. My favorite hymn is How Great Thou Art. Really? Yes, that is my favorite hymn. Why don't you sing a little bit of it? Oh, gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay. Yeah, then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thou art. Yes, yes, yes. How great thou art. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, God. He's great. He is. Our great. God is greater. Yes. Our God is stronger. God, yes. you are higher. higher than any other. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Well, listen, it has been awesome, awesome just uh, being able to speak thank with you, you and. Uh, you poured out your soul. And so if you had some uh, advice or to give to those that are watching uh, this program, what would you say? Would you... My advice would simply be to go to him. Go to him. Everything you need is in his arms. Yeah. And go to him however you know to. You can go screaming, kicking, fussing. You can go anyway. Mm, yeah. Just go. Yeah. Even right now, just even when, you know, the word says when we don't know what we ought to pray for, the Holy Spirit will interpret our groans. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to have words, but just go to him Yeah. because everything you need is there and he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. It doesn't matter how long you've been away or if it's your very first time or what you've done or what you'll even do after. Just go. Just go. Because he's waiting. Yeah. Trust him. Yes. Run to him. Run, literally run. Ooh, glory. Yeah. Run. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for Whitney having J. me. Yes. This feels good. God is so good. Yes, he is. He's a wonder. He is. I believe you've blessed many people in this God podcast. Praise God. It's only him. If it was me, it'd be a mess. <laughs> and because it's him, it's good. <laughs> he uses people. Yes. You yes. Just let him. You'll, you'll make... Uh, what do they say? Lemonade out of lemons? Yes, <laughs> yes. But I don't want any more lemons. Don't want no more. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good with lemonade. I want something else to drink. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, well, God bless you, and, and I know God is going to continue to do great things in your life. And, Thank and, you uh, so much. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you all for watching. <laughs>
If you like this video, push that like button and make sure you subscribe to the Bishop Leonard Scott Ministries YouTube channel. Somebody